Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use wallpaper glue for Sheen Calais. Wallpaper glue has little flakes in it and these sometimes show around the edge of your Sheen Calais and make a white mark. So to avoid that we're going to grind it up to make a finer powder. Uh, just use a pestle and mortar and it, it doesn't take long. You just want to get rid of some of those big flat flakes that are going to cause you a problem if you, if you work with them. Before you start, you're going to need to find a way to sprinkle a thin layer of glue onto your Sheen Calais paper. You can use a piece of scrim like this to make a pounce bag. So you bunch it up around the glue and then gently shake it and you can get a, layer, a thin layer of the powder. You can also use a tea strainer. You need quite a fine one, um, so you might need to experiment a bit, but find one that just shakes a little bit of powder through. You need to do a bit of preparation before you start the Sheen Calais because you're working with wet paper and you don't want things to dry out. So ink up your plate and prepare your papers ready for the Sheen Calais. You can either cut them or tear them to the shape to fit your plate. Turn them over, this is really important. You're working with the back of the papers. And then just make them damp with a bit of water from a spray bottle and use a brush to spread it evenly. Make sure they're, they're nice and damp all over. So keeping your papers upside down, move them onto a clean, dry surface and then get your glue and you're going to just sprinkle a thin layer evenly over the back of the wet paper. Now, keeping your papers upside down, you're going to arrange them on the inky plate. It's really, really important that you keep it with the glue side up. This is a bit counterintuitive and people often make mistakes, but it's important that the glue side is facing upwards. Now you're ready to print, so get your plate on the press and then cover it with a piece of damp printing paper. Uh, when you run it through the press, the Sheen Calais will stick to the paper. Sometimes the edges pull away a bit, but you can cover it with a piece of tissue paper and just press it back down if that happens. I think this is the easiest way to do Sheen Calais. Have a look at my blog if you want more information about it.